Now that watchOS 7 is officially released, I have two Apple Watches on my wrist. One is running the previous watchOS 6 and the other one is on the latest version of watchOS 7. Now before you make this transition from that OS to the new one, there's a lot of things that changed of some new settings like force press is now officially gone on watchOS 7. So there's a couple of settings that has changed. So before you get frustrated on spending countless hours doing research online, this is a quick video summary of everything that's new and the full guide of where all these new settings are located as well as some new settings, new hidden settings that got added that you definitely need to be aware of. So I highly recommend continuing to watch this video to quickly become fully familiar with watchOS 7. Let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So as I previously mentioned, one watch is on watchOS 7, which is this one, and the other one's on watchOS 6. Now, one of the new changes that we definitely need to cover right away before anybody gets frustrated is the loss of force press. So if I'm force pressing on watchOS 7, it doesn't do anything on the app view if I want to switch back to the grid like it did on watchOS 6. You could just do it like that. Now on watchOS 7, unfortunately, there's a couple of extra steps you gotta take. What you need to do is quickly go ahead and go into your settings. And if you scroll down, there's a new setting in here, which is app view. Here is where you have to go to quickly switch between these two different view modes. And yes, I have an X, <laughs> but I personally prefer leaving it a list. It's a lot easier finding things, especially since everything is alphabetical ordered. Another new major thing that's worth mentioning is the new control center. So in the past, you could still launch it. You can still tap edit, move the toggles around. But on the new one for watchOS 7, if you go down here and hit edit, you can actually delete some of these. And when you delete them, say for example, well, we never use theater mode, you can just move them here. Bedtime mode, walkie talkie, water, tap done. And now you have a cleaner control center. But not only that, if you want to re-add them, just tap the little plus icon as you see here. And you may have noticed that there's also is a new toggle right here in our control center. And this right here is the school time. When you tap on here, it's very similar to the water toggle. This will automatically set your devices in do not disturb mode. It will turn off the notifications on your third party apps. So all you really see is just your watch face. So if you tap, hit the power button, it doesn't do anything. Not even Apple Pay works. And to exit off of this, just like the water mode, you just rotate the digital crown. But not only that, it also wants to make sure you're actually trying to exit off of this as it's gonna ask if you really wanna confirm and then just tap exit. And there you go. That is that new school time mode. Now new for watchOS 7 is a couple of new watch faces. One of which happens to be this Memoji or right now I have it set to Animojis. So every time when you wake up the screen, you're gonna get like a new Animoji. I like it, it's really funny, especially when you keep tapping on it. They make different impressions. But if you tap customize, if you go on the edit, you can select certain, but if you wanna add your very own, that's where you need to go into your new, to the newly added application that can be found right here. Memoji. So right here, you could scroll through some of the previously made ones that you have already on your phone, or you could create one from scratch. So I don't need to walk you through all that. You should be already technically familiar with it, but you can select your very own Memoji. You can customize the style, but down here, is where you can actually create as watch face. When you tap on this, now your Memoji is on your watch face. And you can do those same things that we were doing earlier with those Animojis. So this is pretty cool. So there's a couple of extra steps if you wanna add your personalized Memoji to your watch face. Now, since we're covering newly added apps, another new app that got added was the bedtime mode, the sleep app right here. Now, I already had mine set up, so I don't have to go through a setup process, but if you're wondering how to set it up, you need to launch the health app on your iPhone. When you launch it, just look for the sleep tab and the application itself will walk you through the entire process. It's really easy. And then later on, you can actually edit your time schedule. So if you're wondering how to set that up, just go on your phone, tap on sleep, and it'll walk you through the entire process really easy. And now, whenever you feel like you wanna take a quick nap, you can always just go on the toggle right here and literally tap sleep mode right there. It'll put all your devices in do not disturb mode and will also dim down the screen of your Apple Watch and rotate the digital crown to get off from that. And then of course to leave it, just 
disable it like so. Now, another thing I forgot to also mention, 3D press is gone on notifications. So where previously you could just force press to clear all, now, unfortunately, you do have to scroll manually on top and hit clear all. Apple, if you're watching this, give us the same feature, like how you're able to tap on the top corner to automatically scroll on top. This will be awesome if we could just hit clear all just by simply doing that if we already seen those notifications. Now, some newly added settings that are worth covering can be found in the settings section. Application from here, if you scroll down to airplane mode on watchOS 7, if we tap on it, airplane mode on watchOS 6, you see we only have the ability to switch to enabled airplane mode, but on watchOS 7, you now have an additional setting where you could actually enable this to turn off or on Bluetooth. When you toggle this, now whenever airplane mode is enabled, it will not only lose connectivity from Wi-Fi, but also be disconnected from your iPhone. So whenever airplane mode is enabled on your Apple Watch, it doesn't stay connected to your iPhone. So that's a new setting that they added. That's worth mentioning. So new for watchOS 7 is you don't have to download a translation app to translate languages. Siri can actually do it on the fly. So we literally ask Siri, how do you say, what time is it in Mandarin? In Mandarin Chinese, what time is it is? Literally Siri does the translation right there in a matter of seconds as you saw, and we'll actually speak it out loud verbally. This is pretty cool. And I also like the fact that you don't have to download a third party app. Siri automatically has this integrated. As long as you have internet connection, you're fine. Back in our settings, if you actually scroll down to Siri, go down all the way at the very bottom, there's now a new map suggestion Siri. In here, you go customize certain routes, routes and stuff in the map app on your Apple Watch, or you can leave it so it mirrors whatever you have set as favorites on your phone to copy it and mirror it on your Apple Watch. And if you're wondering how I'm able to get this cool animated wallpaper, you can go ahead and watch that video right there as I show you a quick tutorial on how you could do these epic wallpapers. I know some of you guys are gonna ask, but that video is available. Anywho, now part of the new sleep mode is there's a setting that I recommend others to at least check out or be aware of. And that is if you go into your settings and go into the sleep tab right in here, a feature that enabled by default is the charge reminder. Now, if you don't like sleeping with your Apple Watch, you may want to turn this off because if your Apple Watch reach a certain battery life percentage that it knows it needs to make it throughout the entire night, it's gonna ask you in advance to charge your Apple Watch before you go into bed. But by disabling that, you won't get that annoying notification. Or you can just tap right here and don't use this Apple Watch for sleep. So while we're still in the setting tab, another app that I wanna quickly cover is the calculator app. Because new for watchOS 7, if we launch the same calculator app on our watchOS 6 device, you could easily 3D press to switch between tips or percentage. Where with watchOS 7, as I previously mentioned, force press is unfortunately gone. Unfortunately, you have to go back in your settings and scroll down until you see the calculator app. And right here is where you can actually make that selection. Kind of annoying, but it is what it is, I guess. If we actually go back and go into battery, this is worth mentioning is now you actually have a graph of your battery from its last charge cycle. So you have an idea how long the battery can last throughout the entire day under a single charge for your device. But if you go down, you can also see not just the power reserve slider, but also the battery life health. And you can see your battery capacity right here. So that's where you can find that information. Not available on watchOS 6. Now with the change of uh, force press, another thing that I should at least mention is if you use the native weather app, a hidden feature on watchOS 6 with the weather app is you could 3D press to switch between rain, condition, and temperature. Force press is gone. You need to tap on the screen to toggle between those different cycles. So that's how you could switch. I mean, you're still able to do it on this one, but a lot of people I know were used to the force press. Now this is the only method to switch between those different modes. Now, if you're using an Apple Watch, that is a Series 5 Apple Watch. Whenever always on display is enabled, with watchOS 6, you had to tap on the watch once and then tap on the complication to quickly launch it. On watchOS 7, you could just simply just do a one-time tap to have a much faster access to that complication on the always on display. Now, while we're still on the subject with the watch face, 
if you actually force press and there's now a new up arrow icon this is how you can send your exact watch face configuration to a friend or a family as long as you have their contact information in your contacts list so you can tap the little plus icon right here you can literally scroll tap on their contact information and send it to them like a regular text message and if you tap right here you can also include like certain complications so if the if you have like a paid complication you can also tap on do not include or do not include data but even if the, you send them a complication that they have to download in the app store it'll let the user know and then down here you can also put a message but if you want to send a certain watch face to like a group like maybe a subreddit or something as an example or just shareable online in general instead of you having to have contact information if you actually launch your apple watch app on your iphone you can literally tap on the watch face hit the little plus arrow select the photo you want to include if it's a custom wallpaper and then go ahead and email it or use a storage cloud but what i like to do is airdrop it to my computer and just go ahead and use a online storage client these are usually free to use but if you already have a paid version like google drive and such this will work as well drop that file make sure you go in and make it shareable via a link and now anybody who has access to that link can download that custom watch face on their ios device and just like that that is how you could share these custom watch faces via a link if you have like spare apple watches as long as both of these are running the latest version of watch os 7 so let's say this one is on watch os 7 but you want to switch it to school time you have to unpair it first on your main device by tapping this and just tap unpair but i'm not going to go ahead and do that i'm going to make a separate video a, a bit more detail about the school time but you need to unpair it and then go down to add a watch and down below here there's now is this new setup for family member when you do this you could set up their apple watch on your phone so they don't have to have an iphone but you'll be able to manage their activity levels track their location as well as talk to them with the Apple Watch. So again, I'm gonna go more into detail in a separate video, so make sure to stay tuned as I'm also gonna go ahead and cover all the hidden features and tips and tricks about this new school time mode. And there you have it. Now all those settings that you were looking for, you should be fully aware and know exactly where to locate them. As for school time, don't worry, I'm gonna go ahead and make a full dedicated video covering all the cool things that you could do with this new school time feature that you could do with your kid. So I'll be covering all the tips, some tricks, and of course I'll be looking for those hidden features. So in case that video is already released, it should be right here. So you could quickly go ahead and watch that. If not, that video should be complete within a week or so. So I'll have something else in the meantime. And then my favorite Apple Watch accessories, in case you're wondering, you can watch all that right here as I go through my day-to-day -day favorite Apple Watch accessories that I still currently use to this very day. Anyway, folks, Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you are subscribed and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.